Okay, sir. Okay, got it. One second, uh, let me look through my messages. Robindra is busy, exited, fine. Just one second, sorry guys. Just sending a message to someone. All right. So any other uh, thing we want to discuss? I said this is going to be without agenda. So you people have to throw up the topics. So someone in a chat uh, requested can you check yesterday bank nifty 30000 pe after initial movement trade came up 227 but resulted mm. in loss 30000 p ratna yeah he had that problem 30000 p wow It went into a deep loss. Why? Why was it? Yesterday, market was red. But uh, this thing did not go up. Why? Sir, you are watching today's one. The down one is today's. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This one went up. Teja, can you, do you have voice? Uh, can you talk? Amog, uh, Teja is from Hyderabad. Uh, he's about to join, sir. Sir, uh, what's the issue with this uh, yeah, strike I... price? Huh? Is there any issue with this uh, strike price, 30,000 put, which we are discussing? No, 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 no. Uh, he had a loss, it seems, yesterday. Yeah. After initial moment, trade came up to 227, but uh, end resulted in loss. Yeah, that was yes. for him. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you, Teja. Tell me. Yeah, so I entered like uh, late uh, in the afternoon. So I kept... Uh, like you see the second candle that right? it it was uh, high is like like two twenty five or something. Mm. Uh, so I just kept SLM order at uh, two twenty five or something. Then I just left. Uh, I forgot uh, uh, mm. to cancel the order and it got triggered around two p.m. Like uh, after two p.m. you see a green candle, right? big green mm. candle. Mm. So it it went up to two seventy five. Uh, mm. Then uh, uh, the closing price was in red again, right? So that resulted uh, in, a, in a loss. So if you okay. see the high, can I see candles uh, everywhere? Uh, you see, like there is no, I think there is no clear trade for this uh, yesterday. So because the second candle is very good. Okay, no problem. Uh, Teja, what has happened is now, number one, you are trying to enter when the price is somewhere at resistance. Okay, price is heading towards resistance. Whenever the price is going upward, you try to put a SLM order and try to catch that buzz. You will always lose. What you need to be doing is you need to be being on the downswing. You be any option or any stock for that matter when it is going up. So we have as a simple rule in our high energy method that whenever the candle is green, 
we never buy. We wait for the candle to turn red and then we place an order above the high of that red candle on the normal candle. So the fourth candle was red. So my entry should have been here, not somewhere here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, if I you make this I... kind of entry, uh, quite obviously you lose now. So if you yeah, had made this entry, 139 way you would have entered and you would have taken of it somewhere around what 250 rupees, 250 or something because this was the same thing uh, same instrument i traded also yesterday okay i like a uh, kind of logged in around uh, 12 pm or so so i, I missed the trade no, if you're if you're logging in late stay away from the trade don't okay. trade you have to have a right location first your, if your location, if you try to take any trade between support and resistance, you're going to have a failure. You sell at resistance, buy at support. That is a rule of price action. You can't afford to forget that. Okay. So this uh, support and resistance for it, uh, like you have drawn uh, using daily candles or it is like... Uh, no, no, no. I use one hour high kinesi candles or one hour uh, line uh, chart to see the support and resistance. Let us look at the line chart. Turning points I mark. Where did this line come from? And areas where uh, it has acted as support or resistance, or support and resistance. Somewhere around these areas. What was earlier support has become resistance, though it is a minor resistance. Then I switch over to the 15 minute candlestick chart. Actually, I did not have a resistance area at the six. So what you do is you, if you don't find a resistance uh, and the price has never been there before, add pivot points and see. When the price turns, obviously there must be some area where it has bounced from. Surprising, damn it. Actually, there is an area here. You could have marked 257. It is what, three days ago, two days ago, you had a pivot resistance there. You have to do a little bit of painstaking work on marking your resistance if you want to do this kind of exit. Now, what I'm saying is, in our revised scheme of things, we are saying, let us enter on the basis of the Aikinashi entry around here. And forget about all this resistance support and all. Wait. My entry would have been here. Then I will close my day. Whenever I feel like exiting with a good profit, I'll exit. Otherwise, I'll let it run till you OD. Okay. Uh, so uh, you have entered both P and C or uh, only the P? No, no. I have entered only. Nowadays, I only do uh, unidirectional trades. I don't do strangles and all. Yeah. Before this Aikinashi method, I used to do strangles. Now I am uh, only playing the directional game. Yeah. So today it was like uh, going down and it went up, right? Like it, it changed the direction today. Not Sorry, much. Really. It was not much now. Uh, let us look at bank nearly chart. Okay. My first 15 minute candle went down a little bit and then uh, it went up. All I had to do was buy a CE and wait now. Yeah. The new system we are talking about is that we will not look at all this uh, intraday time frame. We will not look at indicators, support, resistance, all those things. Morning 
as soon as the market opens you observe the candle for just a couple of minutes if it is forming a green candle buy p buy c if it is forming a red candle buy p okay i think uh, for the first 10 minutes it was going down today whatever happens here you buy p then you can change your mind later no yeah okay got it so when the direction reverses and uh, green becomes red or red becomes green you can always change your mind you hedge yourself with the opposite position correct yeah that will solve all your problems no need to look at support resistance uh, chart pattern and all okay so uh, the flag and pole or uh, butterfly uh, all those nonsense we don't need okay even on thursday do we follow this uh, yes. 300 yes. point rule yes you do okay thursday is not some uh, hidden uh, devil which is waiting to kill you man thursday is just one more day just because it is expiry day people have that feeling that uh, we should be ultra careful market has to move in some direction no especially on thursday actually when uh, so many traders are eagerly looking forward to the expiry that is not uh, something uh, sent to hurt us okay so don't worry about thursday and all as long as your uh, the strike price you select has a possibility of turning itm you're going to make good money and if you feel that the money you are seeing on your mtm screen is good enough exit your trade enjoy the profit only otm contracts will expire worthless on thursday so you have to ensure that at the time uh, market closes your one of your contracts is itm correct yeah all others correct yes sir correct yes sir okay sir what are we going to discuss uh, now that everything has been made redundant all the levels <laughs> so i mean we are again back to the uh, i think we can only discuss psychology part of it <laughs> psychology also is not there, no <laughs> right so now <laughs> how to catch ultra big moves like if there are three days of market trending <laughs> every day you trade to <laughs> take the profit what is that So that is what because when i joined the meeting today i was under impression that you would be discussing that momentum method <laughs> but There then yeah yeah <laughs> i also realized that okay whatever it is it is a derivative of price only so if price is not moving anywhere what in extra information it will give you <laughs> <laughs> now the only thing is we simply trade <laughs> <laughs> that is the only thing you need to do actually there is nothing else to look at one minute uh, my doggy is uh, entered the room yeah he is out no more we, we can only discuss uh, the successful trades we took and if anybody had losses we have to we can see whether we can help them out that's why i also request us if any any lost because i hope no one lost but if someone lost we we can rectify that what how it happens what mistake we made something Correct. like that because all the newcomers need help definitely well they would not but this shows a no, zero zero loss sir only a few uh, put uh, paper trading mm mm-hmm. mm sir paper trading is useless thing as per me because your emotions are not there and like some people were saying uh, when they are at atm strike it is difficult to hold uh, that is something which which can come with real money only correct so as a trader yeah, i agree i agree trying to develop ourselves this is the only thing that we have to like uh, cultivate how to hold see it is very difficult to digest bigger profit and that is the only thing which we need to learn because most of us 99% of us are very willingly uh, to uh, are very willing to accept the losses but profit and that to a bigger profit 
is something like every, everybody is try, uh, trying to make the system better actually that is what we are doing one is uh, that and another is these guys are not sure of themselves and uh, they are probably not sure about the system they want to keep on paper trading i have no complaints about that because uh, let them be 100% satisfied no see the system cannot be made more efficient by using any indicator one thing for sure and i was making this point to sir also yeah. because all the indicators are derived from the price and when you are uh, trading haikanashi method you are directly trading the price absolutely so unless you have some other uh, information available which is beyond the price say if you have you are part of some dealing room where and you know that some some institution is going to buy in big amount information like that which is outside the purview of what we are seeing on right. chart that thing only can uh, like uh, improve the efficiency otherwise and that is something which obviously no no one will have an access to especially uh, normal public so let us just uh, treat them as some variables which are not under control and simply trade the system yeah so Sir, i wanted to i wanted to know your views on the central pivot range and the you know the, um, the basically the you know the two day relationship and the narrow and the wide have you ever used it and what is your opinion i i have used all kinds of things in the past now i have abandoned everything and become a saint okay, now i am slowly removing everything you would point that we like, like to be also saints sir like you huh but i have seen we also uh, like to be like yeah, you sir you tell me kavita what were your views on this i have seen the uh, central pivot range mm. uh, being effective like um, sometimes of course it's, like today the momentum was so much it it, it what passed the itself is uh, which came first chicken or egg hmm right the central pivot range is derived from where from prices only no prices only then why are you looking at other lines and all to make your decisions all you need to know is is my price above the average or below the average meaning is my price line sloping upward or downward that's all you need to know right okay so the answer is i don't use central pivot range volume profile any kind of analysis which people do to convince themselves that their decisions are right i don't want to do i want and what about previous day high previous day low because that is also price action right correct it is a place place where price halted in the past now with correct. new strategy we don't even want to see that how do i care no whether price halted yesterday at x y z point point today what my price is doing is what i want to know i am happy knowing only this much ignorance is bliss of course uh, i will never get invited on tv shows to talk about my views on the market because i will have absolutely no <laughs> all i will know is how i can make money actually we are all cluttered with thoughts from everywhere that something so right. simple as this it is difficult for us we want to get uh, include everything and make it a perfect <laughs> and end up not doing it no ah uh, that is where the challenge lies actually we need to uh, clear our mind of all the things which are there yes. just look at the price if we are following high can actually so be it high can actually it is that's it that's simple as that but that is why these questions keep coming you know everybody has the same set of questions we need to improvise on it we can't improvise we can't improve on, on the price on the price we can't improvise what we are seeing is what we are trading True. the momentum has changed we are taking a position based on that the direction has changed we are able to fine tune this in our implementation and scale up we will do better than looking at how to better the system exactly i think that is what we all need to practice 
you know uh, rather than looking at it they're really looking at the same candle and they decide together that okay the momentum is changing this could be the strike and this could be price it right that would help everybody mm. probably we should do that i would want to avoid that also okay uh, if you set a alert when your price changes from green to red mm. right then you don't need anybody's views you will get a notification on your phone look at ah, that that's right it, it is it is for the uh, new customer confused and want to add indicator then want to you know tinker around how to know the momentum or whatever mm. it is not it is just a kind of hand holding for some time true yeah. so okay we can cut away with the discussion all our discussions are now because we are taking entries at the right uh, or probably they are doing it differently mm. if we can sync in together with our thought process the only way to sync is what uh, enter on the hikinashi method yes and uh, switch over to daily candle and stop looking at the chart perfect and that will take care of everything and put a alert in case the price uh, decides to reverse right so that you can have a hedging position open right now after all these things also if uh, we have some psychology issues we can discuss as uh, santosh was saying bigger lots worry sir Uh, that is a scalable thing it has to come slowly it is like this you know eating one chapati and then two and then three yeah or probably uh, chapati is not a good example it is the kya bolte peg 30 ml 60 ml 90 right <laughs> <laughs> actually i hope i will be sir yeah i will i will be. I, I hope go, that I can take an entire bottle very soon. Ah, that, that you know, <laughs> the tolerance level, how you are able to digest the alcohol. That is, it is the same with money, I guess. Menon sir, it's right. It is the only thing which we need to cultivate. Actually, the, the, that is the yeah. only thing which we need to cultivate. How uh, to digest bigger profit and get used to seeing it on our screen. Right, because we are That, not being used. Yes, to yes, sir, Manoj sir. When no, we use, sir. when use a bigger capital, automatically yeah. fear also coming. So I agree. So even strategy is uh, no, no, no. Santosh, no, I, yeah. I, I don't agree with this point. See, bigger capital. See, if you are, if you are using, see, if you are build up your position sizing, right? So for six months you are trading with say four lots, and then in next six months you are slowly or gradually building up to ten, twelve, fifteen lots. so if you are moving progressively then there is no fear with whatever Absolutely. capital you are trading i, I agree the fear will only come that i have learned a new strategy today and i know it's very promising and let's start from the 10 lots right from the day one because i have a say 25 lakh rupees account so because you have not uh, you have not created confidence in the system and the day suppose you, this is the, your first day and it may not turn in your favor and that is the time when you start panicking but if you build from the scratch and uh, you give time to the system uh, you may trade with uh, say 100 quantity or 25 100 quantity it will not make any difference because whenever if you have built up from scratch and you have reached say 25 100 quantities you must have booked you know profits worth in lakhs you cannot just reach from uh, yeah yeah i agreed yes So why will those yes. minor laws <laughs> trip, uh, bother you, right? Santosh, probably the easier way is for one lot for the first week, two lots for the second week, three lots for the third week, four lots for the fourth. Exactly. Week. We we have to build up from the small quantity. Though you may have a large account size, but still try to build up from the small. Fear of handling bigger lots will not arise at all. I'll I'll give give it to you in writing because this thing is very logical. I hope we all can understand this thing. If you if you increase your lot, yeah, yeah, that's why I need to I need to implement in real. Yes. See, I can share my experience if uh, that may be of benefit to the people here. Why I'm saying this thing with so much of uh, uh, like confidence. because i myself has faced this thing uh, there was a mentor under whose mentorship i was uh, trying to trade some strategy and he he used to like take 40 times leverage 
and believe me uh, and we used to trade on expiry days and believe me <coughs> for the, the the expiry is on thursday but for the entire 6 days i was like under tension that oh tomorrow <laughs> on thursday i'll be trading at 40 times leverage and what if this thing happens what if this thing happens so though i was fortunate that i came out unburnt but the only thing which i learned here is you need to digest first i mean whatever you are trying to chew and if you do that then definitely scalability is a you know it will benefit you otherwise it will it's just like a double edged sword so the good thing about trading is it's highly scalable but that is also like the devil lies there because if we are too much eager or too early with it so in all the likelihood it will cause damage and the damage to account is not a big issue but the damage to our morale and to yeah. one we My get a prevent, yeah prevent you from taking next trades exactly sir if 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 my uh, outlook gets corrupted or if there is a psychological fear in me that oh last trade i lost big amount i'll be very much uh, shying away from putting the next trade and it might turn out to be the biggest trade uh, for that particular day or that session like once so, you lose you lose big then you try to recover small amounts yeah you build a build your confidence again and i think the method which sir has provided uh, the the biggest beauty of the system is we don't need one year and uh, you know 3% per month to 36% per year if we get good volatile days most probably within month or two we can just double our capital and then move double the lot size you know, here you take a profit of 50% per day on your capital here Which I mean, even a, a trader who is very unskilled and he's making lot of um, uh, mistakes, but he is there in the trade, and he ha- happened to catch one or two good trades. Mm. So even with lot of uh, mistakes you are doing, you will be profitable, and I'm sure, twenty thirty percent per month. I'm just talking about. Are you per month? No, please. Share <laughs> about fifty percent per day. <laughs> If you are not making that, you might as well quit here. This game. Uh, not- okay, no, no, sir. So, sir, pardon me for being such a small number. <laughs> But I'm just saying that with this particular trading method, there's no need to start with big money. Just start with small because the compounding rate is so huge that within a month or two of successful trading, your capital size will be. I mean, there's no limit to it. Actually, I believe this thing. I definitely believe this. Thing. Within three days or four days. Yeah, days, yeah actually, yeah. There's no pressure on you. Yeah, intra, intra you minus send. Twenty uh, lakh rupees account or a thirty lakh rupees account, and then only you can sell ten lots. Nothing like that. You start with ten thousand rupees. Yeah. Look at this screen. We are talking here about uh, starting with a capital of twenty-five k at fifty percent profit per day, right? During the entire month of April. And I did this on ninth, of course. You would have a capital of. Uh, I mean, if you are able to reinvest all these things at higher lots without fear, you are definitely going to be at around some thirty, forty lakhs. Wow! <laughs> And this is in one month. I mean, <laughs> it's the biggest joke which you will hear, but this is true. Uh, the system course, can yeah. make it happen. Uh, you as you go along each day. You will need to trade higher lots. Okay, the, when the number of lots increases, uh, like uh, you have to trade, let's say twenty-five thousand, fifty thousand contracts, a lot of doubts will come in your mind. So what I do is to avoid all this, I take periodical cycles of profit, and then again start from twenty-five thousand. I'm not interested in showing an Excel screen uh, which was ten crores profits. I'm interested in slowly building up my profit. I will take, let's say, up to five lakhs or something, and after that I will uh, move on to again uh, next cycle. Withdraw the five lakhs, put twenty-five thousand again, and start trading. That, that is a nice example to follow for everybody, because twenty-five thousand to five lakhs on a fifty percent return doesn't take more than ten days or fifteen days. Right, exactly. That's why I said we do multiple cycles of this kind. at least sir it shows the potential of the strategy i mean if we are uh, if we are trying to reach i mean uh, if we are if we are driving on a ferrari 
right so uh, on a, on a worse day also we will be covering lot many kilometers than when we are walking on the road <laughs> that that is my only submission so this strategy has a huge potential actually actually today actually i got very very positive mindset today after intravenous sir and manoj sir and uh, swami sir after your inputs right i feel very confident on myself sir to go on to the next level yeah yeah you easily go but uh, wonderful we are happy to hear that sir don't go overboard and land uh, I, actually i want to thank you yeah. no 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 sir i want i want slowly and gradually yeah build gradually santosh sir and i am yes, sure you will be four, like enjoying it right five, you will be enjoying it yeah five you should into enjoy it 10 into slowly slowly yeah i agree sir and see one more thing uh, they, uh, like there are so many instruments i mean all the instruments which are there you can apply it anywhere so in case some day you have a fear of missing out in say bank nifty then you can look for any some stock options or after market gets close you can look for crude silver see swami dev swami deep is posting some trade in silver i think santosh is already doing it <laughs> he doesn't waste his time he is making yeah know. so he is making best use productive use of this time swami deep is exited so that he can take his silver trades quickly <laughs> exactly <laughs> so with this uh, i mean methodology there is complete freedom which we should experience complete freedom right not not in terms of uh, like having a big uh, big account size not in terms like there are so many strategy which they say okay don't do in that don't like if you were to do selling so bank nifty is the only preferable instrument because of the high premium which are like stashed into it right you cannot do selling strategy on commodities or all other instrument so the beauty of the method that has been taught by sir is it cuts across all the instrument it does not require you to have a big account size any person can build it up from the scratch you know 2500 rupees you can start 100 yeah. right so, so nothing can be more powerful than this now tell me pranit mm hmm No, no, no. It is one x margin. I'm saying if you have if you have twenty five thousand and you make profit of twelve thousand five hundred at fifty percent, next day capital is going to be thirty seven thousand five hundred. You keep on adding fifty percent of the uh, thing as a profit and keep compounding it. The moment you start compounding it, you are going to have a beautiful return. I deliberately did not show you guys my three x margin thing. You, you guys will say I am a scam. <laughs> I have a sheet to have for three x margin, wala. No, if you are interested in taking ten percent, take it. It will take. It's an. Uh, it's an idea. To me, reach your first one crore. Yeah, so there is nothing for your need, right? So what is that? No, no, it has potential to go to three hundred percent. No, sir, that is not the thing which we are discussing. We are simply discussing that on an average return of thirty to seventy percent. Yeah, so there are there is nothing cast in stone that you get out at fifty percent. So, like today, when the day was so much uh, in a strong uptrend, we will get some days which are. Three hundred percent, three sixty percent, you will get profit. Yeah, you get uh, out at two hundred or three hundred percent of uh, your original position size. So, right. Exactly, right. exactly. Therein, we need to develop ourselves as a trader. That we must be capable of trading that much. Yes, yes. That is the whole point which we are discussing. No sir, no sir. That is not the. <laughs> okay. 
no with our late uh, pranit uh, we are not going to book profits we are going to keep it running till end of day we are going to enter on high kinetic candle then we are going to change our uh, chart to daily chart we will not do anything we will wait till eod whatever profit or loss the market gives we will take and that way in the yesterday session which also you exited early <laughs> okay what we discussed was that we will enter on the basis of the daily daily candle as soon as the market opens if it is forming a green candle enter a ce if the market opens and i see a red candle immediately i will enter a pe worst thing that can happen is i will be wrong if i am wrong i will hedge myself with the opposite position if i have a ce i'll buy a pe okay yeah, only normal candle no more high can see unless you want to take entry at high can see level right see the moment you see a green candle you're going to look for your high can see and say i want to enter at so and so price for your strike price you will wait for a entry based on high energy and enter the trade okay no no not necessarily i am saying uh, you will decide the bias as upward green candle is forming right so once the green candle forms you will go to your uh, option chart and uh, wait for high energy entry If you don't get the high energy entry, I think here something has gone wrong. Let's see. Ah, uh, this is what we are looking at anyway. Supposing you you see the chart and say I want to enter a PE trade, right? As of yesterday, let's say. So you you don't immediately enter. You wait until you get the high energy signal. The high energy signal comes at the third or fourth candle, right? I can actually red candle forms in fourth. So you place an order above the high of the normal candle and take entry into the trade. After that, you forget about everything and uh, move on to Bank Nifty chart and put it on daily ca uh, candles. The reason we do this is in between you will not get a temptation to exit. The price may do its up and down thing, but as long as this candle doesn't become uh, ultra color. like green color i'm going to remain in the pe trade so it will force me to hold the trade till end of day and uh, whatever profit i get big profit small profit big loss small loss big loss usually doesn't happen on a reversal scenario because you will hedge yourself right and uh, small loss to we'll take sometimes but uh, on a on a very you know up and down market like this doji market you are definitely going to take a loss the idea is to keep that loss at a minimum and as i was explaining uh, if you have made a couple of days of profits let that one day loss go out of that profit no as long as it doesn't destroy your base capital it is okay with you i'm only losing a little bit of what i earned yesterday so that's fine so once you do this no your mental uh, aspects of trading will fall into place there is no fear there is no stop loss because uh, my opposite side trade will become my stop loss so i don't have to have any fear at all when i'm in the trade i know at the end of the day somewhere price has to stop if it if the candle closes with a body which is more than the wicks right more body less wicks means good profit day more wicks less body means bad profit day simple we don't even want to use any jargons these days are obviously bad for us but we have to take the rough with the smooth we can yes this one no 
yeah but you could have you could have always decided to say i am going to take my profit or my my stomach is full now so when the price is on the upswing you could have taken your profit also nobody yeah if you see 50 60 70% return just exit just days go. over for me yeah okay what i would suggest is if you see a big uh, move and you exit then immediately go into a straddle right you may you never know you may get benefit on the down move also then you will be a bumper profit wala fellow Hi, Swami sir. Uh, this is Vibhav here. Yeah, Vibhav. Uh, Swami sir, I'm sorry, I joined in late. Uh, so I I have a question. Where, uh, so the bias of the day, uh, do uh, when do we decide on the five minute candle or the fifteen minute candle, sir? There is no five minute candle or fifteen minute candle, Vibhav. We are now discussing okay. different method. We say as soon as the market opens. Okay. The candle can be either red or green. Correct. If it is red, take a PE entry. If it is green, take a CE entry. Whatever okay. entry, so that, that... whatever entry you Correct. take, there are only two possibilities: you can be right or you can be wrong. Correct. If you are right, do nothing. If you are wrong, mm-hmm. hedge yourself with the opposite side trade. Right, got it. Simple enough concept. Sorry, sir. Time, time to digest it. Correct, sir. But, yes, I, I, I was uh, stunned, and uh, they were not willing to tell me whether it will work or not. Hmm. Especially this person, Amo Grady, he was not willing to uh, reply at all. <laughs> <laughs> and believe me, it works beautifully. On days we have a full-bodied candle, though. That means momentum is good. And if momentum is good, you are going to make money. No stop loss in this method. That is another happy feature. No support. My question, uh, sir, Ankit here, sir. My just only scary part is exiting on the hedge position. It's like it, sometimes it may not give clear indication. Do I have to exit or not? Why, sir? Once you know that your trend is stabilized, okay. Morning, it gave a down move, and then uh, price started moving higher. Let us take example of today itself. Okay, morning price went down and then started going up. Okay, then first 15 minute range got broken. Then price was not able to push down to the bottom of that range, 15 minute range. price was showing some strength sellers were not showing strength buyers were showing the strength to push the price again above that uh, 15 minute range all this thing is clear indication that trend is stabilized and, and you sir, not... if we go back we just go back to previous to previous day no 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 don't change time uh, frame okay okay just scroll uh, side left side yeah. scroll what day is it yesterday is You want day before, day, day before yeah, day before yesterday, day before yeah. yesterday. Mm. This one, it. You would have lost. Oh. Simple as that. Okay. You took a bias. It went wrong. Then you hedged. You lost on both sides. Okay. Okay. Simple, no? Yeah, simple, sir. And if we continue Sorry, to sir. see the daily yes. candle of this. Uh, no. Sir, it's a uh, Lohit from Bangalore, sir. Hmm. Tell me, Rohit. Sir, I I trade in crypto, sir. I trade in futures more mostly. Okay. What? But uh, the bias is very. The market runs for twenty four hours, and but okay. how can how can we decide the bias if? Then you decide. No, that I will only trade for six hours, eight hours, ten hours, whatever you want. Forex traders so, uh, have a problem, no? In the US, they can't. Yes, uh, they fix the. Eastern time as uh, cut off time and uh, take the daily candle. No sir, uh, the market I opens. I cannot have a daily after. candle now. Sir, you are saying uh, I cannot have a daily candle. How will I fix the bias? No, no sir. The market starts at US UTC double zero double zero means five okay. thirty at uh, our timing, our time okay. zone. Fine. Can I take that that as uh, open sir? 
yeah you can take yeah see what i just confirm after you take any time whether the price is going up or down assuming the okay. concept of time is all unreal it is illusion okay we have no time okay now okay. if i if i am standing here i will say market is down so i will take a downward okay. position if i am standing okay. here i will take market okay. market is up i will take upward position okay sir i just all confirm sir uh, it, it's for no only problem. bnf or you can do anything uh, you can do for any instrument which where the price moves thank you sir welcome swami sir this is ramesh here how are you sir tell me ramesh i'm good okay no uh, see i just have today it was a very good day and yesterday as well the same thing based on your uh, thought process just mm. wanted to know if in case if you are taking a bias assume mm. that for today today the moment when the uh, uh, green candle i picked up a call Yes, I picked up a little bit extra uh, away and call as you suggested. Okay, but I just wanted to know what might be the stop loss that we have to keep it. I'm sorry, I uh, you have to repeat the question again. Yes, sir. See, uh, picking it up as for the buyer side. Okay, there will no problem. No, uh, that's okay. Uh, see, uh, when we are just seeing the first fifteen minutes, we know that it is going to be a green candle today. Why fifteen yeah. minute? Okay, let's say five minutes. Okay, you take one minute. No. Okay. Then, um, Swami sir, the the problem is we can't. Uh, uh, we it's it's difficult for us to understand the bias, sir. So that is why we we look for all these uh, support resistance or okay. pivot lines. Okay. Or, but that but is the thing. I'll I'll put a different angle to this. Yeah. Forget the bias, man. You just buy P. Okay. What is the worst thing that will happen? I'll go wrong, and I'll have to I'll have to, I'll have to hedge. Correct. <laughs> You don't have to think about uh, think too much about the bias and all. No, but that to keep the stop loss when you are speaking about a daily candle. Sir, one minute, uh, Ramesh. Uh, there is no stop loss, nothing. You have to start somewhere, no, Ramesh. Yeah. yeah. Morning, nine fifteen. My hands are itching. I have to start somewhere. Yes. So I say today my bias will be upward. Correct. No reason. Market may be all uh, downward, but still today I may decide I want to trade on the upside. Right. So I will look for a signal in C, uh, uh, C whatever strike price I have chosen. Okay. Now I don't get a signal. What do okay. I do next? I go with P. Okay. I I always have C and P at okay. uh, various strikes selected, the okay. ones which I want to trade for today. Okay. Randomly, I say my bias is today upward. Okay. Now, if the price goes up mm -hmm. and then comes down, mm -hmm. my bias was wrong. Correct. Worst thing that will happen to me is having bought a C even at open price mm -hmm. or even at a slightly higher price than open. Mm -hmm. Nothing bad will happen to me because if I am wrong, I am going to change my stance and I am going to buy one PE also. Okay, that is where the important thing. Okay. Nothing bad will happen to me just because I took an initial bias of C. Okay, yeah. day turned out to be a downward day. Yes. So I'll buy a P and a contract that. C. Uh, okay. You mean to say that you have to wait for the signal to come in through based on the H A candle in the C or P. Sir, uh, let me put it in an uh, even more simpler terms. Ah. Uh. Supposing you use the H A candle, you are going to get entry at the cheapest price. Okay, correct. No doubt about it. Correct. Now I am not a patient man. Mm -hmm. Morning at nine fifteen, my hands are itching. I want to place a couple of trades. What mm -hmm. like? First thing I'll do is I'll say today I'm going to buy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be on the C E side. Okay. I will buy a C E. Mm -hmm. Then I find after a couple of minutes, C E is going into losses. Correct. I have a red MTM on uh, C. Okay. Then I look at the chart. Mm -hmm. Price is going ultra direction mm -hmm. against my expectation. Mm -hmm. I don't panic. What I do is I just go and buy another PE. Okay. I just wait after that until uh, both these things put together give me a profit. Mm -hmm. I'll have a loss on C side. I'll have a profit on PE side. 
this will over, over above the losses correct it will definitely have to go over above the losses because okay. the pe which i bought will become itm okay. and the ce which i bought will be slowly become otm otm now in today example i just picked up uh, okay it's a psychological way of thinking like uh, one of the uh, participants was mentioning it through what i am trying to say ramesh is all of us are over thinking everything correct yeah you know you just need to buy something buy it yeah. And like example, sir. Today I went in with thirty-one five hundred call. Okay. Like the opening after I asked for your yesterday's call process, I went in for a thirty-one five hundred call. I I initially I bought it at around a two twenty or two ten something like that. Two twenty if I'm not wrong. Okay. okay. I picked it up, and mm. it went up to two forty two fifty, then came down to one sixty as sir. Hmm. Now since that one sixty is the moment when it came in through, but in the PE there is no signal coming in uh, in the HA candle. Mm. So I averaged it more in the CE again. Very good. Okay, and since it is only just as per your this thing, like you know, since it is a green candle, it will go green candle. I went in that day. Mm. And yes, thank God that I came out around a four fifty something like that. I came out. Yeah. Now, uh, yes, it was a good profit of double, more than double. I am okay with that. But what happened is like the four forty went down up to eight hundred. Hmm. I could have stayed back. I could have taken four times return. That's a different issue. I'm happy with the two times returns. It is okay with me. That is what is okay. That is what we have to say after exiting. I'm happy. Yes, I'm, I'm happy with that. that you, should have, you should have stayed till the end. You would have been much more happier, no, Ramesh? Yeah, that is that is a psychological angle comes into the picture. <laughs> we all console ourselves, saying, "No, no, I got got out with a good profit. I'm happy." But it after that, it went up. It went up double from that time. Kind of you should avoid. Sir, uh, in fact, you know that is when I checked it out the uh, OI status. The moment when I see the OI status, I am a little bit more confused whether uh, sellers are right or call writing is going on or not. Who asked you to look at OI status? It's only for my. What are you guys doing? No, no, I just took it out on my own. This has nothing to do with uh, any of the strategies or the thought process. What I'm saying, Ramesh, see, if you want to cure yourself of a habit, no, you have to go full, full heartedly for the cure, no. Very true, sir. And then my method is different. I will keep smoking, but uh, you have to help me to quit smoking. How can it happen? <laughs> okay, uh, sir, I should correct myself in that. I will surely I will take it. But my, my question is. Yes, uh, assuming the other way, uh, like a three, thirty-one thousand five hundred call when I picked it up at two twenty, and it came down to one sixty, one forty-five or one fifty-five. I picked up again at one sixty. Okay. Now, where is going to be my stop loss? Is going to be there is no stop loss, Ramesh. Again and again and again, stop loss is not there in the system. Will buy, if it goes against you, you will, you will buy a P. Correct, but don't you think some like, which point I have to look out for a P? When the when the daily candle changes color from green to red. Daily candle changes the color from green to red. Okay. As long as daily candle continues to remain green, mm -hmm. you have no business trying to buy a P. Like uh, today, if you notice in the early stages, it went up. Uh, Sir, down. I told you not to look at your fifteen-minute charts. Like daily candle, at the daily candle, what yeah, you have seen is a green candle at all times. Correct, but there was a big which came in through. The price came down and all those things. You will not worry. It will keep doing its up and down thing. No, that is what yeah. we are supposed to do. Demand and supply will make it happen. Okay. We are not supposed to react at every such meeting. Because it was a psychological. To be very frank, you see, it's a psychological thinking where whether to continue or not to continue. Or I'm happy with the profit. Why I said trade with one lot. The worst thing that will happen is one day you will lose. Correct. Heaven and earth will not fall. No. Very true. Yeah. So trade with one lot. Get the experience. Once you get some positive feedback after mm -hmm. your own trading of last one week, mm -hmm. you will come to know that this is the way you are supposed to trade. The problem is you will feel bored. You will not have that uh, you know thrilling feeling of uh, entering and exiting trades. Illa, that for that we have to simultaneously do some stocks and do the heart attacks basis. Correct. You can uh, with options trading. You don't need to have that thing. You every day you can we have a relaxed day. Yeah. Happily go. 
you are not going to make profit okay one more point since uh, do you believe in this gap fillings believe in gap filling gap filling ah yeah like uh, this uh, spot on the day before yesterday and yesterday like a friday and yesterday there is a huge gap down mm so is there a possibility of we taking a 32000 call or a 32500 call the month and also get just sticking i don't know yeah that place approximately i'm speaking about it do you think it will have it will happen like this uh ramesh uh, goes into uh, the uh, prediction which i don't okay. want <laughs> okay okay go on a day to day to day basis Day to day basis, uh, see the only reality. All other things are illusions here in this chat. The only reality is this candle which is happening in front of you. Not today. Mm-hmm. Reality well, is only today. All other things are irrelevant. They have been finished, gone. Okay. Time is gone. They say no in spiritual text. You cannot step into the same river twice. That water has flown. You are stepping into a new river next time. Mm-hmm. Same principle. All your past data is irrelevant to me. I have to only be worried about what is happening on the current day. Mm-hmm. Green by C, red by P. By P. It's good. 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 Well, actually, this today's call reduced a lot of headaches. Actually, yes. Maybe the only thing is like how we choose the bias is a more important thing. Nothing, no. I'm t- I'm telling you, you can yeah, know yeah. what you want, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can choose any bias and say, okay, I was wrong here. I'll change my bias. No, Ramesh. Yes, yes, very true, sir. so supposing tomorrow i decide i will be on the red side mm. first i'll buy a pe mm. if market makes a green candle what can i do my red pe uh, red candle will uh, i mean my pe side will be in a loss quickly i'll hedge with a green uh, side uh, entry P, uh, ce side entry during the entire day with the 26 uh, 15 minute candle forming Somewhere mm-hmm. or the other, uh, it will recover my loss, no? On the PE. Yes, that is there. Some that, but unless it's a free and meeting day, is uh, not happening. Correct. So one after this, only one thing I will need to look at is whether my opening range is breaking out or not. Yes, that is what which I am looking for. Today, if, I if my opening range breaks, mm-hmm. I have a confidence that today is not a sideways day. Correct. that how can i find using the daily candle i like to see whether price is near the high as the candle is forming mm-hmm. wait let me go to trading view and uh, put it on this thing bitcoin so that we can see the price forming like today's bank nifty itself was up oh, yeah. so it, it could not able to go above the uh, opening uh, way opening uh, price for almost what uh, for two hours couple of hours yeah look at this candle now okay i am having today's candle on crude mm. okay. as long as the price is going towards the high mm-hmm. and getting closer to the high i know that it is not a sideways day yes if the price is going to the high then coming back again in the sc- staying somewhere in the middle mm-hmm. then i know that today is a sideways day So I have to keep only watching this candle and seeing where the close is. The close in relation to the high, right? Okay. If my closing, if my current price is closer to the high price, that means momentum is there. If it is not on the upside, hmm. if the current price is closer to the low price, that hmm. means the downward momentum. Okay. Yes. Right. But, but just tell me, if, if the price also... is struggling somewhere in between, mm-hmm. that means there is no momentum, or there is a sideways momentum. The people are put, pushing it up and down. Okay, Which so is the evidence I see now. Now, now, now is that there is an upward movement. There mm-hmm. is a 
there's a body this is a normal candle Sorry. normal candle without wicks open equal to low mm. price going higher i would be all inclined towards a higher uh, up, upper side trade very good yeah no but just tell me if a person right now like you know not everybody uh, can enter at 9:15 okay assuming that if i come at 10 o'clock now take an example of crude itself if right now i'm looking for it at this moment of time uh, so where do you think that whether is it a good time to enter or how to think about a person like right now if you want if we can enter a call in uh, crude or not listen if you if you are entering if you are coming into the market just now okay you need to know at least what the market has done till now correct so you will go to the 15 minute chart and see okay right yes so uh, you will see till now for mm-hmm. today the market has been gradually going up correct it's a higher high position correct and uh, when you want to enter a trade late in the day Mm-hmm. You go by the high kinetic method. Ah, okay, fine. By the right. of the red high kinetic ba- candle. Mm. That is when you know that your pullback has ended and the market is ready to go back in its normal trending move. Okay. The moment you do this, mm-hmm. uh, necessarily when you enter late into the market, you have to wait for a pullback and the pullback to be over before you can confirm that you are entering with the trend. If you randomly enter somewhere here, mm. then you are making a wrong entry. Then you are making a loss, yeah. You will make a wrong entry, and lo- quite obviously, that will be a loss. Correct, correct. Sir. It's a good thing, which actually, actually yes. Thanks, thanks for the update. That is a more important thing which you have to understand. Uh, see, I would, like, I would like to trade without charts also. But I can't help it. I need to see where my price is. Correct. Is the price mm-hmm. going towards the high or low? That is what will determine my momentum. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it can happen that it has a strong momentum. It will go all touch all the way to the high and then okay. fall back again. Like uh, today, what happens on crude? Right. Correct. So this may ultimately close at a lower level. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah. so we we'll have to see other evidence in the form of 15 minute candle to see whether we are likely to reverse or we are likely to only change after pull back okay thanks thank you sir yeah welcome sir yeah sir if the day was open with a gap up yeah and um, it is con- continuously coming down hmm Then what would the candle be right? Like red, red only, na? Red, red only, sir. Correct. So If our I open bias will start, be uh, coming down. I like red bias only, no. You see, people always talk about how to trade gap up and gap down and all those things. Uh, trading gaps is actually a very simple thing. You don't need to do too much of analysis, right? If you have a gapping situation in any stock, you put it on a 15-minute chart and wait for the first 15 minute to break high or low. Okay. Right. If it breaks the high, go for the continuation of the gap. Otherwise, look for gap filling. It's called fading the gap. Okay. If you only stick to this fifteen-minute high-low method, it's uh, enough to give you a proper trade. Here you had a gap up. Then gap is. Uh, for quite some time there was no breakout once the break happens on the upside you know that clearly you should be buying and not selling if it breaks on the downside you know that it's going to come and fill the gap and then we don't know what will happen whether there will be a support here or not we'll have to look for support and then wait but Frankly, nowadays I'm no longer interested. If if it gaps up and uh, comes down, I'll take the P. If it gaps down and uh, goes up, I'll take the C. For me, what is happening only in front of me? This is the only candle which is relevant to me. This is all I'll look at.
All right. No more setup. <clears throat> Only red. Candle is red or green? That's Correct. Uh, candle red or green. This is all you need to do. When do you think we should we should approach the FTU chat group for a webinar? They will most of the webinars in the weekend, sir. I think we weekend will be better. Yes, sir. They will most of the webinars in the week, like five days or that. And we'll also have the experience of trading for a couple of days with this. So, confidently say this is working. They'll call me stupid fellow, no? <laughs> Let's wait and see. Anybody else has anything else to discuss? Praveen, Praveen, you have any doubt to make it clarified? No, sir, we are good. Okay, great. So let's uh, meet up at and another webinar. Yeah, we, we are good, sir. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot, sir. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Good day. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye.